For this problem, it's telling us to graph the equation x squared plus y equals 5. Now, we could plot points if we wanted to, just like we had done uh, when we first started learning how to graph, or we can use our graphing calculator, which is what I want to focus in on now. Now, the problem here is that if you'll remember, your graph, in order to use your graphing calculator, it has to be in the form of y equals something. Well, our equation is not in that proper form yet. Our equation says x squared plus y equals 5. We need to get y alone before we can use our calculator. So let's subtract x squared from both sides so that we get the y alone. Now we have y equals 5 minus x squared. Now that we can actually put into our calculator and find the graph of. So let's go to our calculator and in our y equals, let's put in 5 minus the variable x. Now in order to square something, you can either use the up caret, which means raised to the power of, and then 2, or we have an x squared key here. And if you hit the x squared, notice that it just put a little 2 up there. So you have two different options for squaring. Now let's graph it. So we'll hit zoom. 6 to get a normal standard window and this is what our graph looks like. Now we also need to find some points so that we can actually graph that on our paper. So we hit trace and the first point that comes up is the point 0, 5. Now <clears throat> let's find out what's going on on the left side so let's choose a point uh, over here that we could uh, you know be able to draw our graph in. Maybe let's say um, a negative 2 we type in a negative 2 and then hit enter it will go to that point and that is the point negative 2 comma 1. Now let's do something on the right side so we can see what's happening over there. How about if we type 2 and hit enter. Now we found the point 2 comma 1. Now back in our um, paper now we can go ahead and put those points in. So our first point was the point 0 5 so we'll put that point right there. The second point we found was negative 2, 1, so we'll plot that point. And then the third point was 2, 1, so we'll plot that. And then use what you saw on your graphing calculator screen to help you go ahead to, and draw that graph in.